Hello, 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 everyone. How are you? Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. And may peace be upon you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me, your host, Dr. Izdihar Jamil, for the podcast of Yes, I Can, The Secrets to Mind, Body, and Business Success. And today is a very, very, very special episode because I've got the co-authors of the book, Yes, I Can, that is coming out on the 29th of October. I'm going to drop the links below. Joining me today to share their wisdom, to share the inspiring stories, and to share the action that you can take today to take a step forward towards success. So thank you so much. We've got Noor Sohir and Noor Tazi. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Sihar. My pleasure. So I'm going to start by introducing Noor Sohair and then I'll come to Noor Tazi. So Noor Sohair, thank you so much for joining. I know it's like really early where you are in Singapore. It's six o'clock in the morning. So yes. thank you so much for joining me. And like I was, when I was chatting with you, I was really inspired by your story because you suffered multiple strokes to yes. the point that you lost your eyesight and had to have multiple operations to get your vision back and that is something that you shared in your story i'm not going to share all the juicy details if you want to <laughs> find out what it is go and grab the book out on the 29th of october i'll put the link below so that you can be one of the first to grab a copy so no share us you know in like um a minute like a minute or so what was your experience? Like, it was probably one of your darkest moments in life, isn't it? Okay, at that time point, yes, um, it was a dark moment, okay? Um, it's something strange when suddenly I got the stroke, strike, stroke, uh, strike, and then I, like, uh, half the body is not able to move around. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then suddenly, also at the same time, the vision just disappeared, all right? Suddenly, something that I can see suddenly became dark. Mm. Then, um, went through treatment. Then, two weeks later, second stroke, strike. Mm. You know, and it's like multiple. Maybe I think maybe the word multiple is is sticking to me. Like you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I mean, that is many years ago. All right, but it took me almost four years to um, mm. recover. All right, I'm not fully recovered actually, but almost 90, 95%. But it was really an uphill task. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, yes, at that time when that happened, I was angry, I was sad. Um, but like I said, we, I just had to, do, I had to um, <clears throat> make myself brave, okay, mm -hmm. and face this. It's something that I have to face. Okay, um, but Alhamdulillah, okay, um, now I have, I mean, I, I've done, I've done better. Okay, I'm sorry about the speech because sometimes I cannot talk well. Don't worry. All right, yeah. And then because the, the brain works faster than the mouth, okay, yes. <laughs> at, the, at the speech. So um, I started sometimes. Okay, but the thing is right now, that period helped me um, understand that maybe I need to slow down. I need to go back to Allah and um, <clears throat> be humble back, okay? Because at that time, I was at the peak of my, my life. I was, I mean, know, I, people know me. And like, um, I was like, in terms of financially, economically, I was really being, doing very well, mm -hmm. okay? So maybe I took it, after that, I now took it as if it's time for me to go back to basic. All right? Then you go back to Go back to, to down to earth. That's, That's a beautiful it, right? thing, isn't it? Because yeah. like when it hits you, it will just like completely knock you down to the point that you're half paralyzed on one side. But yeah. then you kind of see, okay, what is this? Um, what's the meaning of this? What do I need to learn? Like you yeah. mentioned a couple of times, it's for me to be humble and come back. To basic and obviously Noor shares her full story in the book yes I can out on the 29th the link is below yes. for you to grab a copy so it's absolutely like for those who are out there know that is facing challenges and trauma that they didn't expect um, what can you say would be your lesson or your wisdom 
to for them to give them the hope or to give them the encouragement that they just need to be brave then they got through this for something amazing to come yeah they just need to be stay calm mm -hmm. <clears throat> think positive all right take one step at a time to move forward have a vision what you need to do okay like for me the stroke was not the end of it right i told myself i have to do something that mm -hmm. I can do around in case because doctor told me the stroke can come back anytime. Mm. All right, because it's something that I have to live with it. Okay, because um, I have to be prepared. So that's what made me um prepare myself that okay, I have to do something in terms of it doesn't only affect my health, it affect the family. It also affected me economically. Yes. So that's where yeah, that's where um I thought that it can happen to anybody. So it triggered me to um, do something. The only way I can do it is with the help. I can do it to care of myself. But in terms of the family, is when I work towards automating my business. And I need, and now I'm going around teaching other people to automate their business so that if anything happened to them, whether in terms of themselves, to the family, or economically, the business will take care of them and the family. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Like you kind of like have that reflection and then from there kind of like you need to do something about it yeah. because it's yeah. like, the doc like the doctor said that it can come back anytime. So you yes. created something, basically it's automation, right? That no matter yeah. what happens, yeah. the business will run with you. So that's a, yes. like, a, like a key thing that, that you mentioned, you know, like you thought about something that's going to yes. solve your problem so that it's going to, if God forbid, your family is taken care of so that yes. you're still going to be making the money. So that is yes. absolutely incredible. And what is your Thank one you. action that mm. anybody can take today? Because they know mm. that they need to create something, right, to move forward. So what's one easy action that they can take today to take that step forward? I think... The action um, in terms of anything that's very important is they have to believe in here mm -hmm. that anything is possible. Mm -hmm. So, That's I, initially, initially I, I, I was not able to believe that. Okay, if you read my story in the book, you know, I, I, will, I, was, I was not able to master the, the courage to make this thing. Mm. Okay, any skills you have is useless if this mind, this inside here, here mm -hmm. doesn't tell you that you are able to do anything. So that's amazing. So starts to believe in yourself first, yes. right? Yes. Before yes. you do anything else, starts to believe in yourself first. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you yes. so much, Nurse Ohe, for joining me today. And then now Thank I'm you. gonna introduce the next co-author the beautiful and inspiring Noor Tazi and we're kind of neighbors aren't we Noor so we're kind of like neighbor we live in the same um not the district what do you call it like state yeah. yeah county that's right we live in the same county hopefully we'll be able to meet each other soon and Noor actually is um I would call her the master networker because that's how she got like a huge amount of her clients. That's her number one forte before the circuit breaker happens. She's a master network. She's been networking for like 10, 10 years or so, isn't it? No, that you told me. And that's one of her ways of like getting amazing, amazing clients from there. And Nora, she specializes with um, website design, with graphics, with marketing. So thank you so much, Nora, for joining us today. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be part of your book. That was an amazing project, an amazing experience. Thank you so much. So Nora, let's share a little bit about your story. I know I've read it. So share with just a little bit the crumble so that people get excited to buy it and want to know more when it comes on the 29th share a little bit about what you wrote in the book absolutely so uh, basically what i wrote in the book is my journey moving from syria to united states i moved i was around 18 years old mm. and you know back there you grew up 
the only thing you know about the world is your home, your family, and school. Yes. Like, that's the best experience you can ever have. And moving to United States now, the expectation is high. I have to go to school and graduate and uh, find a job and uh, sustain myself financially. That was... Um, the way I'm saying it now, I'm making it sounds very easy. That is not mm -hmm. easy. The culture shock, Absolutely. learning the new system. So most of the book I'm sharing about my experience, how I moved and how I internally refused to adjust. I refused to change. I review, mm -hmm. refused to adapt. Nothing changed until I internally changed mm -hmm. and then the world around me started to change with me. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's an experience. A lot of people who are moving, I know now we have a refugee yeah. uh, crisis and people are moving all around the world. I guess my story, I hope that my story would inspire them to push it through and be open for change. That's absolutely incredible. It's one of the uh, one of the motto for any political campaign, right? Change, right? It's like, yes. was it Barack Obama or something? I don't remember, but it was the motto that got America chose him as president. Um, so like you point at a really incredible thing because coming from outside, from another country, from another culture, from different kind of food, different kind of interaction and coming to America, it's not an easy adjustment because I have experienced it myself. But you're touching a point that is absolutely the key. Like, for things to change, I must change first. Like, mm -hmm. it, otherwise, nothing will change kind of thing. So, no, what would be the one wisdom or lesson that you can share out of you networking for the last 10 years and then as a result of your change, build a really successful business? Um, and, you know, having the confidence to speak to people in a different language. What would be your one wisdom or one key lesson that you can share today? Now, now since you're mentioning networking, I guess number one excuse for a lot of people who are moving from a different country to a new place, the number one excuse for not starting their own business is I don't know people. Like if you're selling a product, if you're selling anything, you need a network. You need people to sell to. And mm -hmm. the number one excuse always, I don't know anybody. I don't know many people. I, I There are networking groups where you don't yeah. need to know anybody. You pay your fees, you do your interview, um, and then you just show up. Show up to those networking groups and nobody knows how to do things the first time. Yes. So it's okay to do it wrong. It's okay not to know how to shake hands and now mm -hmm. how what kind of question to ask in the networking parties. So it's okay, just show up. So my number one would be advice for real is show mm -hmm. up. Don't worry about what's gonna happen. Just show up. And next time, first time might be bad. They're gonna laugh at you, you're gonna learn. Next time it's gonna be better. Absolutely. And that's important, like showing up is one of the key to success. So if you read anyone, like, uh, like all the gurus that would say showing up consistency. And like when you go and meet people, like, you know, if you meet me, I'm, a, I'm an introvert, I will be the quietest person in the room. So even if like me, I'm like, so I'm gonna say hello, <laughs> and just smile, right? <laughs> and that's it. Well, what we don't realize is you can learn everything. Mm -hmm. When I showed Absolutely. up for, for networking groups, I, I barely even can say hello. I mean, mm -hmm. people that meet me right now, they can't believe I'm still the same person who they met 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. The first, very first networking group I went to, I didn't even know how to say hello or to who. I would always sit by myself, not talk to anybody. And then eventually I started to learn that there are training that actually teach you word by word what to say and how to approach people and what kind of question. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. It's as simple as memorizing two or three questions. Yet you can reach out to any person and ask them and they're okay questions. They're not political, they're not religious, they're not personal. So um, you can start a nice conversation with people. I still remember, I'm, I'm someone who's good at small networking groups and I don't like big one. I just right. feel there, at least when I started networking, it was a little bit awkward for me to walk in, into a room full of people and I don't know anybody and I don't know how to approach people. <laughs> so it was as simple as some a real estate agent. She told me, oh, it's simple. If you see 
first rule is more than two people. Like if there's a two people, then probably it's an intimate conversation. Mm -hmm. But if there's like a three people and they're standing in an open way, just approach them with your hand forward. You're coming right straight forward to shake hands and a simple question. I don't think we have met before. My name is Noor. It was as simple as that. That's and fantastic. So it's just like that. You don't have to have, you know, people say, you have to have the elevator pitch. I'm like, I can't even say the elevator pitch when I haven't have got that too much nerves. So that's absolutely incredible. Like showing up is the first step. And then you start to be open and learn clues and strategies or techniques. So absolutely. no, what would be the one action that anybody can take today to help them move forward? and towards their goals or towards the business success or anything, what will be the one action that they can take? I'm still surprised that there are business owners who don't mm -hmm. have a website. Right. I'm actually like shocked. Right now, especially right now with the pandemic we're going through, mm -hmm. like your website, if you don't have a website, you don't have a business. Right. So exactly. if you don't have a website that is working for you, where you're putting your efforts and you're promoting it and you're using landing pages, however you want to use it uh, to support your business and to grow your business, if you're not doing that, that would be number one. Absolutely. Because the thing is, when people search you on Google, if you, if you correctly put the SEO and your website and the targeting, it's going to show up, right? Absolutely. At least on the first page of Google. It doesn't matter if it's number one or not, but at least on the first page of Google, if you do it correctly, your website is going to come up because it's, if you do the SEO, the search engine optimization um, correctly. So if you haven't got a website, go and create a website if you need help with um website or anything you've got Noor's gonna leave her details in the book coming up on the 20th october if you're wanting help with automation and automation in your business um Noor so here is also i've got her details in the book yes i can 15 mindset secrets of inspiring people around the world coming on the 20th of october and i'll put the link below Go and grab a copy because Noor, Suhir and Noor Tazi, they both share the amazing secrets for the last 10, 20 years, however long it takes for them. And that little thing, just imagine having 15 people guiding you and coaching you to a success. But thank you very much, Noor Suhir and Noor Tazi, for joining me today. And with me, your host, thank you for listening. Dr. Isihar Jamil um, from the podcast, Yes, I Can, The Secrets to Mind, Body, and Business Success. And I'll see you in the next episode. Say bye, darlings. Bye. 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 bye.